Wait, can you remove tartar at home? No! Right away, I need to say, no, you cannot safely remove tartar from your own teeth. However, plaque can be removed safely at home. So let's talk about the differences between plaque and tartar and how to remove plaque at home and why you can't remove tartar. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about plaque and tartar removal. So plaque is the white or sometimes yellow if it's stained, sticky stuff that sits on your teeth and it can be properly removed at home simply with daily brushing and flossing. So yes, plaque can and should be removed at home yourself by proper brushing and proper flossing techniques. Some people even like to add in water flossers and our interdental brushes to their home care routine, especially if they build up plaque quickly. Some people are more prone to plaque buildup than others and if this is you, I'll link my plaque removal videos, especially for the lower front teeth and the far back teeth. And I'll also link my flossing alternatives and electric toothbrush versus manual toothbrush videos in the description box. So if you want to learn exactly how to properly remove plaque from your teeth at home, you'll definitely want to check some of those videos out. So with all of that in mind, it's important to know that plaque will turn into tartar if it's not efficiently removed. Within 24 to 72 hours of plaque sitting on your teeth, meaning you skipped a day or two of brushing or skipped a day or two of flossing, that sticky plaque now starts to harden and mineralize in the spots that you missed. And it forms into something we call tartar or calculus. Tartar and calculus are the same thing, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just call it tartar. So this tartar is super hard. It's like rock and it sticks to your teeth and it sits on your gums. And if it sits there for too long, it causes gingivitis and gum disease, which is red, bleeding, puffy gums that can lead to bone loss and tooth loss. And we don't want that. So to avoid that, make sure you are properly removing plaque daily so it doesn't turn into that tartar. Will we miss some spots every now and then? Of course, we're human. And we also don't brush and floss after every single snack we eat throughout the day. It's okay. That's why we go to the dentist for professional cleanings so they can properly and safely remove any tartar from our teeth. The only thing that can remove tartar are dental scalers. And the only person who can safely use a dental scaler is your dentist and or your dental hygienist. And before someone freaks out in the comments saying, don't listen to her, you can remove tartar yourself at home with a dental scaler, duh, buy it online. I'm not here to be a mean parent or a mean teacher that you don't like, but as a person who genuinely cares, I need to say that although yes, scalers can be bought online, one, you don't know if what you're buying is medical grade that dental offices use. You'll never know for sure because you need a dental license to purchase a reputable scaler. And two, even if you have a good scaler to work with, I'm a dental hygienist and I went to school to learn how to safely clean teeth and I still can't clean my teeth very well. Can I try? Yes. but do do I do a really good job on myself? No, I just can't get the angles correctly. Think about how when you're the dental patient, you are leaning back into the clinician's lap in their chair so they can see in your mouth. They are looking at your mouth upside down to properly clean every single tooth surface and not miss any spots. If you can't see properly, you can hurt your gums and you can't see your own teeth properly. And if you don't know exactly how to scale properly because you didn't go to dental hygiene school or dental school and you use the incorrect motions, you can either miss the sulcus entirely, which is leaving bacteria under your gums and will set you up for quicker accumulation of gingivitis bacteria to spread, or you can hit the sulcus too hard and push the tartar down below your gums instead of pulling the bacteria up and out, which can lead to a gum infection. And one more thing, since I've made a similar video in the past on why at-home scalers are bad, I'll link it as well if you're interested. I go in deep about all the things that can go wrong if you try it. But yeah, lots of the comments from that video said things like, of course she's gonna say not to use them at home. She'll lose business if people start scaling their own teeth. And my reply to those comments is, First of all, dental offices unfortunately get even more business when people don't come in for routine regular cleanings. All damaged gums from scaling at home aside, if you're not getting routine cleanings and gum assessments and exams by a dental professional regularly, it's similar to not getting routine oil changes on your car. Unless you're a mechanic, you can't test all the stuff going on in your car so you won't know if something bad is brewing and about to die out on you anytime soon. Same thing with teeth. Without professional cleanings where we examine every single surface of every every single tooth while we're scaling during your cleanings, not only are they performed safely because we have been properly trained to use the scalers, but also we are able to find and notice any suspicious areas in your mouth while scaling. Whether it's tooth decay or gum inflammation, we can find them when they are small and we can often reverse small dental situations before they get worse. Dental hygiene is all about dental prevention. The goal of a professional
professional cleaning at the dental office is to prevent further issues and to safely remove the plaque and tartar from your teeth to reduce your risk of gingivitis and gum disease. So no, I don't want your business. I don't even own a dental business. <laughs> I'm just here trying to save you money, if anything, because in the long run, preventing and maintaining healthy teeth is going to actually save you money and give your dental office less business. Something to think about. And for anyone who is unable to see a dentist routinely due to finances, I strongly encourage you to search for a dental school or a dental hygiene school in your area because most will offer discounted or even free dental cleanings. I also have a list of low cost dental clinics on my website, teethtalkgirl.com, which I will link in the description box if you'd like to learn more. But in all, just remember that plaque can and should be removed at home daily with proper brushing and proper flossing. Tartar cannot be safely removed at home since scalers should only be used by dental professionals. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.